In this short video, we will use Voicematic Maya Edition with locators and attributes in Maya to store the animation curves, and then easily transfer the lip sync animation to our character rig. Firstly, go in Create and create a locator. Once the locator is created, I will go and modify. I will undock the modify menu, like this, and click add attribute. I will add an attribute for each of the different mouse positions I want to create for my character. So we'll add an A mouse position, allowing it to be keyable. This property is very important, because we will be creating keyframes. Make sure the data type is set to float and hit OK. So now, if we look at our locator, we can see that it now has an extra attribute named A. I will repeat this operation for all of the different mouth positions that I will add to the locator. So as you can see, it's very easy to do. We created a list of different mouth positions that we want to use. Next, I will simply right click on each of these attributes and select Set Key, which simply creates an initial keyframe. It is worth noting that Voicematic requires an initial keyframe in order to work. Now that this is done, I can open Voicematic and load an audio file. Once the audio file is loaded and set as active, we can go to the Visee Mapping section and open the Voicematic Outliner. As you can see, within the Outliner, we have access to the curves of all the different custom attributes we have added to our locator. Let's start by selecting A and mapping it to A. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? I will then repeat the operation for each of the different extra attributes I've created. There we go. Now, I can hit Process Lip Sync and then Create Keys. Next, if I go to the graph editor, I'll just turn on auto frame. We can see that for each of the different mouse positions, we have access to the animation curves created automatically by Voicematic. So instead of using Voicematic to directly animate a blend shape rig, we could use this technique to store the animation curves and then easily transfer them onto our own character rig using one of the numerous techniques available inside of Maya. Voicematic simply creates regular keyframes. Instead of directly working on a character, we just created custom attributes on the locator to store the lip sync curves. We can then use them on our own character rig. Thank you for watching this brief overview on how to use Voicematic Maya Edition with custom attributes. Feel free to download the trial version of Voicematic at www.diomatic.com.